birds are in the coop. <laughs> they're just, uh, they're in there. There's a waterer, there's their feeder. They're gonna have a hard time trying to figure things out for a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to do that, I wanna do that uh, chicken coop that I told you I was gonna build. So here's the idea. Got this thing built already. Um, I didn't build it, found it on the ranch here. Putting four legs on this, it's about uh, two foot high for these legs. And um, the door is gonna be over here in this area once I flip it around. And I um, wanna put some nilium on the ground on the other side to protect the plywood. And we're going to um, um, build a four foot wall by four foot wide, at least, at least this way, two foot wide that way. Um, at least I think it's two foot wide. I got to do some measuring. We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, but it'll be a uh, pretty simple coop. Nothing, nothing crazy. Only five birds are going in here. So it's going to be super small. We'll go from there. Not using plywood uh, to line the walls with. We are using old barn wood. It's a one by six board. And that's what's going up on the walls. It'll make it super simple when I go to skin it. Because I won't do anything else. I put two screws on either end, call it good. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and, and get to it, just building. Again, this channel is all about me, watch me do the thing, not a how-to. So it's not exactly how, you know, some professional carpenters would do it. This is just how a, a man with other skills, oops, uh, outside of farming, ranching, does things. Alrighty, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm in the barn and I'm trying to cut these uh, supporting members for the uh, top of the chicken coop because I've already got the foundation done, the platform done, and I'm going to cut them at two foot intervals. This last bit is just a, you know, it, it won't, it won't matter. See, simple and easy. Yeah, just cut them up. Not a big deal. I'll show you guys what I'm up to. So the idea, so the idea is to put four corners like this all the way around So now, all we need to do is make sure that this thing is level, because last night when I was building the platform, it wasn't level. I'm raising it a half inch on this one side. Simple door hinges. Now, let's go get some, uh, some siding. First, let's measure. So we got four, four, 30, 31. Let me double check. Yeah, 31. So now what I'm doing, I'm cutting holes for the chicken, chicken hole. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna reinforce it with uh, the scrap wood around here and just kind of lit up down. That way the boards don't come out into nothing and just kind of hang. So all the scrap wood I've got, I'm just gonna lay it in there, screw it to it, call it good. No way it just doesn't flop around. I went ahead and zipped that on real fast because I turned the camera on, so <laughs> forgive me. Okay, so to give you guys an idea of what's going on with the, the door, I've took a one by six and I ripped it, cut it in half basically. 
See what I did? Put the rough cuts on the inside, and that way the flush cuts will be a little bit better on the outside, that way when it mates up. This is basically the idea of the door. And we have a cute little handle. Courtesy of the ranch. Now this has been hanging around for probably maybe less than six months. Uh, they probably use it on something, but I'm not quite sure. I found it, I'm gonna use it. And um, it's here. So I need to cut, I think I need to cut one more board, but I don't know, I may, maybe three is enough. I do want a little bit of ventilation, but I think four would be, I think four would be best, so. Only problem is I gotta go cut another six uh, six foot piece and I really don't have any other use for it other than maybe I can use it for the roof. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so a few hours have passed um, and one, I had lunch and uh, just making things simple. Came back and I went ahead and cut another board because that was bothering me. I'm thinking there's weasels around here. I'm just talking with family, so there's weasels. What I'm doing is I'm creating planking all across the top. So when I come back in with my tin, I can just screw the tin down to this. I gotta go cut the tin out. Um, I've gotta go and cut it and I'm gonna come back and I'll lay it on top because they've got a metal grinder and a disc and all that jazz. So as far as the door is concerned, I got the door on. This is good. I'll show you guys. Uh, it's cute, it's little. Um, not quite sure on the current method of locking. It probably won't be the case, but I just what I found. It opens, it closes. Simple. Yeah, gotta put a furring strip. I would like to take this broken piece from the other board, this furring strip, and then lay it on the inside so I like to have a stopping point for the door, like a door jam. I just, that way you can't push it too hard. So whatever pushes in it, it won't work. So it'll be nice, it'll be easy, and it'll look good. Um, and keeping stuff from getting in, really, it's what I'm mainly concerned with. So now I gotta cut some more of these boards, run it across. Probably wanna cut two more right here, and then grab that metal and lay it on top. And that'll be it because i thought you know this would be real hard but no lean to roof is real easy real real easy all righty almost almost okay mr bug get off me the next thing I'm going to do is work on their perch and then work on the nesting boxes and then figure out how I'm going to went ahead and installed this and went ahead and got my five gallon buckets um, this, it's, again it's what's laying around the ranch so I cut it in half I went ahead and I nailed it the finished nails back behind i did some down here not as many as up here though because you know weight and whatnot it's gonna be pulling out so i put a little bit more in there and i put two more in here now it's that two screws holding this thing in i'm afraid if i go with three it'll split the wood and it'll cause all kind of kind of craziness and plus it's on a one by one by six up here towards the edge so i don't want it to tear out and food and water will be over there and then a perch will go right over there. I just gotta get me a two by four and screw it in. Measure and screw. Once I get done with this, I gotta figure out how to mount that. Um, probably just take a two by four and screw it down and that's how it's gonna go. Yeah, that's probably what it's gonna be. If you made this part, thanks for watching. Uh, think about subscribing. Um, channel's growing. Uh, we hit recently hit 3,000 the other day and um, Pretty excited. We did it within a year. It's not bad. Obviously not this particular content, 
but trucking content. Uh, the homestead trucker, this is kind of what I want my life to be. Um, this ranch is very big and it'll take everything I've got, including help from family to, to make it great again. So new addition to the chicken coop. It's kind of rough, but it's an idea. Anyways, I tried the slits, but yeah, they split, of course. I got like three to stay, so all the other ones literally just broke in half. Apparently, banging them on the end of the nail, not good enough. So, I gotta move that one over, over here, where it's a little more secure and steady. Now that I am uh, done with everything, when I say done, I mean the door situation has figured itself out. I have put some two buys up in here. Well, actually, it's a one by, really thick one by. Nails going up so it stays in place. Nothing can get in, so that's even better. Now, let's open this up. Now, inside, oh yeah. Okay, so there's a two by four perch. Built this, this is, you can pull it in. The birds are gonna have a fun time figuring this out, but they'll be real easy. And uh, they can bounce on this all they want. That's a little split, but we're not worried about that. It's worried about a bird um, breaking this, possibly. I've got some fresh alder chew here and some hay for the deals. I want to put this in here real fast and grab the birds and leave them in here for a few days. <laughs> okay, birds are in the coop. <laughs> they're just uh, they're in there there's a waterer there's their feeder they're gonna have a hard time trying to figure things out for a minute guys this episode of homestead trucker is done because i smell like bird now whoo that's the stinky stuff so you yeah, have a good night y'all take it easy see y'all later y'all say good night birdies Say goodnight, birdies. Night. Ha <laughs> ha.